Hello, I'm Almudena Vicente Franqueira and in this video we will talk about the challenge you will have to overcome in this unit of the INTEF course on Digitally Competent Educational Organizations. The design process is frequently defined as a cyclical process. You develop a prototype which undergoes testing in order for you to further develop, adjust and finally tune it so that it suits your needs. In this second unit, we will talk about the school digital plan and focus on several issues so that we can move forward towards achieving the goal of being a digitally competent organization. First of all, we encourage you to shape the digital strategy implementation plan for your organization, taking into consideration four key components. You should first define the tasks that have to be accomplished and then establish a reasonable schedule for the steps you have to take in order to do it. Next, you should appoint the actors in charge of the established tasks and specify the resources needed to carry them out, particularly focusing on the digital infrastructure. Apart from the implementation plan, the school digital plan consists of all the relevant elements the communication plan, the usage policy, the professional development plan, and the assessment and best practices plan. The communication plan should determine the communication channels that are going to be used, the persons in charge of them, and the purpose for which they are going to be used for communicating internally or externally. With regards to the usage policy, it will be advisable to describe, even if it is in a concise manner, a set of behaviours and practices that the organisation promotes as being desirable and another set of behaviours and practices that should be avoided because they present a potential risk to oneself or to other individuals or institutions. In other words, this policy describes healthy behaviours for technology usage for all the educational community. Finally, members of digitally competent organizations are open to learning and that's why it can be interesting to shape a professional development plan which can be carried out within the school digital plan. You should determine a way to identify the needs and talents of the professionals working for the organization in order to develop them and use them to serve the organization and the community. In addition to the issues already mentioned, you can also focus on other topics concerning the development of the school digital plan, the tasks established in the implementation plan, or the proficiency in using the technological infrastructures. Furthermore, it will be interesting if you identify the devices, the tools, and the people that change the organizational learning environment, OLA. This unit's challenge is to outline the school digital plan by determining its four components. The implementation plan, the communication plan, the usage policy and the teacher professional development plan. Needless to say, at this stage of the design, we don't expect you to produce the final document. It should be easy to change the dynamic draft. Remember that we are developing prototypes that we will be improving with every design cycle. In line with the idea of the cyclical design process of your school digital plan prototype, we encourage you to publish the prototype that you will develop in this unit online. Give the online community the chance to enrich your proposal with other ideas and you should do the same with the prototypes developed by your colleagues. Don't you think it makes sense that the starting point of a digitally competent organization should precisely be opening up the code to its digital plan so that the community can enrich it with new ideas? So open up the code to your plan and help your colleagues with their own digital learning process.